I gotta tell you, one of the stupidest things I've ever seen <clears throat> was when I was walking out of my apartment complex and I was just going out to get some food. Well, walking out, this guy pulls in a truck, pickup truck. It's caked with what has to be at least a quarter inch of mud. And it is all over the outside of the truck. I look at the driver's side. There's nothing on the driver's side. <laughs> I'm like, how do you get that much mud on a damn truck? You got, you really, I was like sitting there thinking, I'd love to be there when I saw that happen. So I'm like, hey, Rob, you want to, what are we doing? There's an eight-foot mud puddle in front of us. Well, I be, what are we going to do? Well, Tim... Why don't we just drive right through it? Oh, that's a great idea, Rob. Hold on, let me get some saran wrap and some plastic. I'll cover the driver's side door so that it won't get dirty. Well, that makes no sense. I, I don't care. I want to have one bar of the truck clean so it looks nice. Well, okay, let's drive through. We got it wrapped. It's just, I don't know how you get a car that dirty, but I do know how you get it clean. And that's eight car washes. <laughs> there ain't no cleaning solution allowed that can get that much mud on the truck. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he either drove that through an eight-foot mud puddle, or <laughs> or they ate an eight-foot mud puddle and drank about 50 beers and then threw up all over the side of the truck. But, God, that just looked ridiculous. But... But even myself, even me, I'm, I'm not even immune from the uh, the stupid stuff. Because I was in uh, my first time, my first semester in college. And I'm sitting there and I'm cutting crap open. Because I got packages open because I just went shopping. And I've got massive hands. And i got tiny handled scissors. I don't put two and two together. Very well. So I'm sitting there cutting all of a sudden, get my finger stuck in the scissors. I'll start cutting and then I'm like, oh, shoop, can't get my hands out. And I'm like, oh, it might not be a problem. And then my hand starts turning uh, odd colors. I start losing my circulation. I'm like, oh, shoop. So I'm sitting there running around looking for something to get him out. Can't got no soap. So what do I do? I go run across the room, knock on the doors across the room. I found a room that's got three girls in it. I'm like, do you guys got any lotion? They look at me like, what? Show them my fingers stuck in the scissors. They're like, oh. They squirt some lotion on my fingers. I pull the scissors off my hand. Walking across the room, scissors on my hand. I'm like, you know what? I am not doing that again. So two minutes later, I'm walking back across the room with the scissors stuck on my fingers and knock on the door again I'm like I need you to lubricate my hands and get the scissors off again they're like alright I do it again get the scissors off I'm walking across the room again I'm like you know this is the last time I'm getting my hands stuck thinking walk across the room so then another well three minutes later I'm walking across the room again my hands stuck in the scissors and I come the door and open it up and I'm like I need more motion they're sitting there looking at me I'm probably thinking, okay, this guy, there's no way he's getting his hands stuck in the scissors. This guy's got to be jacking off like crazy over there, and he just needs lubrication. <laughs> so they just, they just they lubricate my hand, get the, pull the scissors off, they give me the bottle. I'm like, okay, thanks. Take it over. Walking across the room, I'm like, okay, this is the absolute last time that I'm getting my hand stuck. So about three dabs of lotion later, or me popping the scissors all three times, I thought we get everything cut open. <laughs> yeah, and then I toss scissors across the room because I'm pissed. <laughs> and what happens? I look over next to the TV, and lo and behold, there is a plastic package that I didn't cut open. It has my cut three in it. <laughs> I'm like, son of a bitch. So what do I do? I go over and grab the scissors. I gotta crawl under the bed, underneath everything, grab them, and then I go over, 
get my finger stuck. Cut the package open. I'm looking for the lotion, and I take one step, and I hear this. I'm like, oh, I look down, and there's the lotion bottle under my foot. Oh, I wanted to just kill myself right there. <laughs> and then, then I was like, then I had a eureka moment. I was like, wait, I got soap in the bathroom. <laughs> and I lubricated my hand, pulled the scissors off, and sliced my hand open. <laughs> and soap in my hand. Put a bandit on it. <laughs> and I was like, wait a second. I had soap in here the whole time. And that's when I had a V8 moment. I was like, I was like, slap. I beat my face. I was like, what the fuck was I doing going across the room to get lotion? I probably looked like a jackass. <laughs> and I felt like one. And that is all we got.